Hello everyone, this is game number three of our Century Box Draft Night on October 10th. And today with me I have Corey. Hello. I have Sean. Yo! And Mitch. Hey, doctors. Thank you for saying doctors, Mitch. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is round three. Um, final round of the event. We're playing for essentially an ancient lightsaber. Uh, unless you're crazy and want something else. Uh, Ray is on the left-hand side with his Magna Guard, Gamorian Guard, Servant of the Dark Side list. That's currently 2-0. and And I am playing on the right-hand side with one die Kylo, one die Phasma, and I am also 2-0. and Garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So um, I just what, what, are your, what are your thoughts like starting off with this match? Who do you kill um, first? 100% Magna Guard. His ability can lose me the game if he manages to deal damage and kill me before the end of round, before I kill him. Um, and going from there, once I kill Magna Guard, go for some of the dark side, then the piggy. Um, yeah. Ray wins initiative and takes my battlefield, so he has shields. Unfortunately, I don't catch that he didn't flip his battlefield for a little bit, but I'll fix that soon. So what battlefield are you running there? I'm running the two-player starter set battlefield, which is... Uh, what's it called? Um, Obi-Wan's set? It's the villain one. It's uh, Hangar Bay for the Imperial Fleet. Um, so I, oh, sorry, I uh, just missed it. Uh, Kylo rolled in, I guess blue, hit Magna Guard, and then Gamorrean Guard ate the two damage. So that's where that all that went. Nice. Um, the Im hangar bay states that reveal the top card of an opponent's deck. If it's an event or support, deal one damage to a character. This is the first time I was actually able to use it um, this night. That kind of works good with Kylo, though, because you're getting a lot of damage just out of nowhere. Exactly, and it's. I don't see why you wouldn't play it, especially in this format when there's maybe half a dozen upgrades in your entire deck. Yeah, that's right. a good call. No. Um, so I pretty much deal the damage and I just keep passing until I can mitigate some damage um, Ray's gonna get 4 damage out and I play a plastoid armor onto Kylo to bring him up 1 more health How many uh, dice you remain in your deck or did you get lucky enough to pull some items? Or um, I didn't get the draft some? so yeah. pretty much <laughs> my deck was 2 player starter set and um a few Empire at War events sprinkled in. Um, there is a really, really nice card. If you guys know the card Detention Center, which is the three cost yeah. gray villain support, that is brutal in a draft. When you're all running one character, uh, or one dice characters. And you pulled it? Did you I pulled it. it. Okay, awesome. Uh, I believe I was the only one that was able to actually pull it from the uh, box. Well, that's and by uh, myself, I mean... Um, Chris pulled it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in one way he gave you a dumpster hand, uh, dumpster deck, but in another way he helped you out. <laughs> he blessed me with the detention center, which made me so happy. <laughs> that and you got Phasma Kylo. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Phasma Kylo. Uh, looks like a two for a dollar, and I guardian it with uh, the Praetorian Guard upgrade. Also a great card. Yep. Amazing. You know, I'll just kind of splash the damage, keep Kylo alive as long as possible. Let him deal some damage, maybe I get lucky with my color pulls. And am I seeing, I'm seeing a special on there, and it looks like, is that the plus melee? Yes, that is the plus two melee. Um, okay. Ray takes a dollar, and I hit the two for a dollar on the Kylo. Oh, and I guess blue, and I hit gray, so. Oop, that makes me a little bit mad two. bad side. Yeah. Well, his deck is like perfect for Kylo, basically. So oh yeah. Pop. All the colors, except All for not colors. many yellows, but, you know, enough. Um, Ooh. Uh, the Kylo die gets flanked, and then I roll on, and I hit the one, which I was looking for, <laughs> which immediately gets guardianed, so. And rolls the three for a dollar. I decide to deal the two to Magna Guard. Hopefully I can claim and just kill him. That's my reasoning here of just letting the piggy go nice. through. I just want to kill Magna Guard as quickly as possible. Did you see a lot of the the more obscure cards, Alex? Like I noticed, you just said you played rolled on. I don't, you know, we tend not to see that card, but in this format, why not? Um, you saw there was a lot of weird cards that you 
traditionally wouldn't see in a regular format. Um, like essentially parry and dodge, like, or parry and evade, where you just remove a die. There was subjugate rolling around as well, which was super interesting. Um, I claimed, that's why the card was revealed. I missed, unfortunately. I wasn't able to kill Magna Guard, so he's still mm. out there for another round. Uh, any card that allows you to draw is amazing. Um, it lets you get through your filler cards faster and get to the good stuff quickly. So you would see cards that allow you to uh, either draw cards from the top of your deck or to mess with the top cards of your opponent's deck, like Strike Briefing, for example. There you go. So I toss, I believe it's Indomitable, which gives three cheerleaders to a character, but it's you have to spot a blue character. Um, Kylo's going to die. He ain't going to be around for a while. Exactly. exactly. So toss it, get some new stuff. Um, Good morning, guard yeah. rolls in. And if you're Ray, you definitely want to be going after Kylo in this matchup. <laughs> oh yeah. Being able to get the potential two damage per round is a huge reason why I took him. Even with one die, it's too good, honestly. And you've hit it once or twice in this game so far. You only hit I've it once. hit it once so far in this game. Yeah, out of the three rounds. Um, evade coming into play removes my one die, which I needed to kill Magna Guard. And the Kylo die already got removed thanks to the piggy, so it's. I'm already in a tough spot here if I can't kill that Magna Guard this round. And cross a hidden double agenda. Double. Tell me you saw that. That was that yeah. angle is directly to you. Yeah, that's a hidden <laughs> agenda. That's definitely a hidden <laughs> agenda in there. So I played the cross guard lightsaber just to ping for the one. Um, yeah. To kill Magna. Yeah, Magna Guard's dead now. Yeah. Uh, doesn't even matter if Kylo dies. I'm, he's taking a Magna Guard with him at this point. Hits the blank in the special on Dark Council. That special for Dark Council is great. Uh, I wouldn't usually play Dark Council in a regular game, but in draft where, again, get to your good cards and being able to reroll and hit that focus is so good. And only costs one. Why wouldn't you? Were you getting some unlucky rolls there? A couple of blanks this round, it looked like. Yeah, well, a few unlucky rolls. I take the shield on Kylo there. Um, Rolling Servant at this point, and then pitch for a reroll for Ray. I think that's the play. <laughs> and of course, he hits the special when oh. I take the shield. Yep. That's how it works, buddy. Yep. Well, I'll take the dollar and get smacked Two by more. troubles. So he's only showing a one disrupt and then two blanks, so at this point, like I don't I don't remember what's in my hand right now. I think I have a clash, and that's why I took the dollar. Or does he just get rid of the dollar? If I'm Ray, I crush the dollar to be able to get in as much damage yep. as possible. Yep. Ray deciding what to do. I guess he has quite a few options. I don't think he's played a card yet. So he just deals one damage, puts Kylo up to 10. I still have three more health with that Plastoid Armor. Yeah, you're sitting actually pretty for at least keeping him alive this round. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have a good good dice advantage going into the top of the next round after the Magnet Guard's out of the field. Exactly. Actually, it was it was looking pretty rough there for a bit, actually, yeah. for you. So it was looking so, a little bit rough, clash. but um, I'm getting some nice uh, removal to stop any big damage. Uh, but so that just, clash just was it? I'm assuming was that one of the pay threes or? Uh, the clash is. Uh, it was on the pay two, I believe. Okay. Um, or yeah, two for a dollar. Just don't want him. Just take it and then discard for a reroll. I'd rather just get rid of it now. Okay. Um, so he's just deciding how he wants to split his damage. Um, he forgot that there's a plastoid armor out on the field, so he does have to do all three damage he's currently showing to Kylo. But of course you tell him, because you're a nice guy. Yeah, I tell him, and then he... 
Um, for whatever reason, he thought Kylo only had uh, 11 health base, so he did 1 to Kylo and then 2 to Phasma, so I'm like, oh. I'm like, uh, do you want to do that? Because that won't kill Kylo. Um, I didn't spot it, but he moved Dark Council over to Servant when he shouldn't have been able to, because Magna Guard's a red character, not a blue character. Yes. But, I am loose there. What are you doing? Um, I didn't catch it, he didn't catch it, it's fine, <laughs> and I don't think it impacted the match that much. Oh. It's impacting how I feel about you now, I'm just saying. Um, oh, there you go. Player. Yep, prepare for prepare war. Prepare for war. Love yes. it. Very good card. I know a lot of people in our group like to make fun of that card, but I'm a huge fan of it as well. The more I see it, the more I like it. Having a resource advantage at the top of a round is really nice. But it only is good if you can get that first round, and if you're playing a slow deck, what's the point? Uh, take Prisoner, discards cards equal to the amount of characters I have defeated, or like two for every character, so hits the two cards I don't really care about. Now I am the Master and an Evade, which he has no gun side, so I'm pretty happy with that. I still like that call, because like as you said, there's only so many good cards in your hand anyway, and maybe he hits one. Exactly. Blank special. Um, blank special. Looks like he took the damage. Yep. Uh, to, um... Yeah, I, oh, you, you took your one damage, or you... I took my one damage, I'm served in the dark side, and then he flanked my uh, special. Or he flanked my special, then I dealt the one damage, I should say. Uh, so we'll turn that to a one damage? So, designed just to mitigate as much as I can. The piggy die, yeah, it's scary, but... Special for two also kind of hurts. I would imagine in, in, in Ray's mind... It, he probably just the guardian at this point, or the the piggy's just there for the guardian ability, just absorb the the damage every time, keep his uh, servant alive with the dice. I think that's what he was doing. I would rather him. Well, I think flanking the special is more beneficial than eating the one melee. Yeah. If, if you so. get the three for a dollar when you first roll in, you're laughing. But uh, otherwise, I think he's just a form of dice mitigation at this point, probably. Exactly. He was debating on whether to crush my uh, one resource um, and leave me at one, or I had two resources crushing one. Um, he instead focuses to a three for a dollar, and I first strike to throw that three damage back into Servant of the Dark Side. Uh, there you go. Nice play. So if I can claim and deal an extra damage, I'm sitting very, very healthy for the next round to be able to kill Servant really quickly. Unfortunately, I have no hand at this point, so I'm going to be eating a lot of damage. Do you pick where that damage goes from that battlefield, Alex? Um, I decide where it goes. Thank um, you. Yeah, if that card is an event of support, deal one damage to a character, so I get to decide, so I throw it on the Servant. Please tell me. Please tell me you kill this Servant. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was right away. <laughs> Dual do 1, he's sitting at 6. And I have action. faith in you, yeah. but... The dice sometimes. The dice sometimes. Um, so I tactical mastery for a dollar, rolling oh, to you. try and kill it, and blank, blank dollar. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's oh, a hill roll. Yeah. <laughs> Second action, toss for a reroll, and <laughs> triple blank. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> tactical mastery well spent. Tactical yeah. mastery well spent, and Ray's <laughs> sitting there laughing because he has an it will all be mine in his deck. Oh my god. How much money does he have right now? He has three money, but he doesn't have it in hand. <gasps> dodged a bullet. God. I dodged a bullet there. Uh, Ray rolls in, hits a plus two shield and a special in the Dark Council. I roll in, deal. I can deal the one gun, but the Gamorrean's just gonna eat it. He has to. He has. Yeah, no he choice. has to. So eats the one gun. Yeah. That's the valid play. Rolls in, hits the three for a dollar, which kills yeah, Phasma. Course, so throw out the doubt. Naturally and doubt it. Blankski. Oh, oh, lucky clutch. boy. I got super lucky there. <laughs> just the hanging on. Yeah, just hanging on by a thread. So Ray resolves Dark Council special, and hits a blank. And I just claim here, and I kill someone. Oh, the there you go. All right. Wow. That was ballsy, but I like it. That's you crazy. Yeah. I mean, you look through his discard pile, and it's, or I've seen his discard pile, and 
I believe there was already a four stasis gone, the crossguard lightsaber, the dark council, I already saw the Vibrax, what more upgrades does he have? Go for it, so, try and play for it. So I'm seeing a, the hidden agenda and the Praetorian Guard, is that... Yep. Um, Double guard. I feel Double like guard. he's hoping you roll triple misses again. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just, I think you discard a lot of your cards, try and get that it will be all be mine and play for that yeah. victory if you're right here. Yeah, you gotta. Um, but keeping the two card, like the one card that allows you to change your die to a damage, or change a die, and then keeping a doubt is a fairly good call. For three, I'll throw down detention center. And Ooh. there's detention center, so I can just lock out my piggy. Done. That's that's you're you're happy. Yep. It's also a very cunty play, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is. almost feels like what I call the TSN turning point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what is that? A special there too? Yep. Uh, special on the phasma die. It's only going to oh, deal man. two damage, but it definitely looked like you're in a lot of trouble there with the with the with the guard coming out on there for raise melee damage. But yeah. boy, that that, that uh, detention center yeah. that was well played at the right time. It came up at the right time, and he doubts my special, and it hits the special again, and I'm sitting here very happy. Um, What's the most he can hit with the Praetorian guard there? A one, one damage. You can get a one, one, or a plus two. Yeah, that sealed it. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. And I hit the focus and the damage, so Phasma is now hitting for three if I can get that one melee off. I guess he's deciding what to play here. Uh, <laughs> decide just roll on the Guardian, uh, the Piggy, I guess. Doesn't matter what he rolls to the Piggy die, yeah, yeah. it's the three for a dollar. I'm just going to remove it. Yeah, I think you might. that might have been the play there. I mean, a lot of people might have said, keep the three in play, see what he does with it. But no, good play, good play. Yeah, good play. You know, I, I'm i like, well, I don't want to eat five damage. <laughs> I don't want to die this turn. Yeah. I'll play the detention center. Oh, did and he guess claims, right? Yeah, and he doesn't hit, uh, he doesn't hit a, a oh, support, man. so I'm... Oh, man. It's so, yeah. It's really yeah, close. And yeah, it's not a good speed if you're Raymond right now, unfortunately. Yeah. Now um, it's the tension center. Raymond hitting that upgrade pretty much allowed me to stay in the game because he could have just rolled in the piggy. If he gets the one on the Praetorian, he hits for one and then claims mm -hmm. again and kills me. So, very thankful that Forest Stasis was there when it was. Yeah, no. It, it's very back and forth. I thought you were done. So. Yeah, missing on that battlefield too. It would have been that would have hurt. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because that would have put you at what nine of ten. So. Yeah, it would put me at must... eight damage currently out of ten. This oh yeah, so like you have just... seven now. Yeah. The, the detention play. How how dirty do you feel? I that felt now? pretty dirty. I was able to get it off every single game. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just that's just mean. Because it's, it's like, he so does big. have a good die, but he can't do anything with it. He can't go to the detention center. Ooh, and he just, I, well, I have, all right, I have you now, just to squeeze in one more damage. And it feels bad, but it's kind of what you have to do if you're Raymond at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you, I think that's a clash in his hand? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I guess he just takes the one. Why not? Puts me at eight. It's still close. Like he, I mean, he got lucky with another claim here, yeah. and then and then claim again unless you kill him this round. But. Exactly. Like he's he can still edge it out. Um, I recon Phasma die to a special using the Dark Council special that's currently nice. showing. Uh, truce. It will all be mine. I see a temptation and a clash, uh, in Ray's hand. So. I don't think there's much Ray can really do. No, he clearly needs an, another upgrade. So he claims and he, he hits it. one. So he does hit it. Oh, yeah. man. So so he, he can yeah. just claim and then hope to God. He can just claim and hope that there's nothing left. Yeah. How many cards do you have in hand? Two? Three? I have, I believe, two in hand. I special... Reroll that die and why not draw a card? 
Just gives me an extra chance. It looks like I have four in hand. I discard to reroll. I'm just trying to hit a shield at this point, and thankfully I do. There you go. Yeah. And just like that, you took it away from him. Yep. Yeah. We'll make him actually roll in as a <laughs> morning guard. And, and just for extra good good, good measures, you're going to pull out her gun, just, just for yeah. fun. Just for fun. Pull the last few cards in my deck so I can stop him from just claiming. Yeah, there you go. That's the play. Looks like Ray discarded most of his hand there. If I hit a single blank, though, with uh, either my Phasma oh, yeah. or my uh, my Blaster, I, I lose. So, Coercion? It's Crossfire, Heat of Battle, or Roll On. What do you take in this one? Um, heat of Battle? Oh, man. <laughs> I love Heat of Battle, though. I think I take maybe Heat of Battle and Force you to yeah. lose your yeah. versus. Yep, that's what Ray does, so... Just because, I mean, I could guarantee you... I don't know. My you second could take one of his die, get him one attack. Roll on, but I, I like Heat of Battle. Heat of Battle's really good. Oh, Plastoid. Plastoid armor, so that piggy's now at 12 health, I need to do 3 damage. Um, and it looks like a focus. Two focuses two focus. and a range. Yeah. There you go. Any image you Um... Wow. see a Clash and race hands. Yeah, that Clash isn't doing him any favors. I think he's held on to it for now three rounds. Like, is he trying to Clash to get extra damage on the Praetorian? Maybe, Praetorium? but at this point, I, I call nice. that he doesn't have any removal, and I just focus over to a special. special. Bandit. And can he remove it? Yep, no, looks nope. like he can't. That's, that's it. Easy. That's that's awesome. He he has a great character suite. So that yeah. was an interesting play there, Alex. Uh, out of curiosity, you had the opportunity to remove the guard, but apparently you just decided to flip and go for the damage. Uh, you obviously felt Ray didn't have the removal. Um, I felt Ray didn't have the removal, even if he, there's no action cheating he could have done with the Gamorian guard at least to my knowledge, that he couldn't right. have been able to play. So even if he discards or removes my Phasma die and then re-rolls the piggy, I can just detention center it and then claim to do another damage and take initiative for next round. Right. So I force lethal to either make him play something with his six resources or just kind of sit there and take the three damage. Right. With your character is so close to death as well, I thought that was an interesting move. So, mm -hmm. what did you really pick when you game. won? <laughs> I totally tipped the uh, <laughs> the throne. No, I took an ancient lightsaber. But but I heard that um, a little little birdie told me that that was like one of the best boxes you guys could have pulled for legendaries. Yes, it was a fantastic box for legendaries. We had um, ancient lightsaber. We had Thrawn, Sabine. Master of the Council, and, and Chopper. <laughs> I believe there was an X8 Night Sniper and a That's Grand Inquisitor. Was. What? Yeah, there was That's a Night crazy. Sniper. Yeah, it's like the best, the best box for legendaries. Yeah, the only oh way God. it could have been better is if there was. Oh, I can't even think. Like, what would I rather have than that? That's a great box. No, that's literally one of the better boxes you can get. I mean, Inquisitor's kind of eh, but I mean, he's still kidding. good. He's still good. But he's he's, uh, he's one of those guys, I, I like playing him. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't do well when I play him, but I, I like it. The problem is, is I play him a lot of mono, and I mean, come on, Kylo. Yeah. <laughs> when he's like, how many points is Grand Inquisitor, right? Um, mm, and yeah. I actually was 19. drafted a Grand Inquisitor. Oh. Um, a one die version of him, of course, and yeah. yeah, fourteen, nineteen. Yeah, I could play him and one die Wait. Phasma, but why no, do I play? No, you Grand play Inquisitor? him with you play him with Bosk. That's what you do. <laughs> That's what you do. You didn't have a Bosk. Damn it, <laughs> Chris screwed you again. <laughs> um. So you should really do a shout out to Chris right yeah. now because that Thank detention you. center won that game for you. The detention center <laughs> saved me from just losing three rounds earlier. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds, seems like a pro tip in this format if you guys are listening. If you get a chance to draft that detention center, you keep yeah. it. 
Yep. And you keep keeping it. Take three if you can. Yep. Just if it passes by, you take it so no one else gets it. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if you're playing hero. Take it. <laughs> yeah, well, you take it. <laughs> yeah. You take it. Just stop it from people using it against you. I don't know if Chris had the knowledge to just, hey, that's really good in this format and took it, or if someone told him, or if he drafted it by accident, but thank you so much, Chris, for drafting that one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like Ray knowing him would have been all over that. Mm hmm So I'm not sure so. if well, what happened because I wasn't there. I was uh, running ten minutes late. But we can only assume that Chris just knew that you needed that to win this game. So. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. I owe you one. So if anybody's uh, how... listening to you still at this point, I would uh, encourage you guys to get on YouTube <laughs> and hit the uh, what is his channel? Dice Hate Productions. <laughs> I have no idea. I'll have to ask him and uh, throw it in Chris the description. Has, Chris has his own thing there. Yeah, he he puts up once a week. It's pretty good. It's quite a pop of stuff, but uh, he works hard at it every week. So okay. Um, also down below in the video description, there will be a link to Sentry Box's webpage if you'd like to go check them out. Uh, huge shout out to them for hosting this event. Um, so Corey, like... did we over? Corey, you were saying something. Uh, uh, no, I'm good. Uh, you sure about it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd, I'd like to gone, just uh, bring up uh, to everyone's attention um, that I don't wear pants when I when I'm on. Uh, and like being that, we're done. So... Thank you so much oh. for watching. <laughs> I'm just so oh. glad, everyone. Let it be. Let it be. <laughs> uh, uh...